Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining me today. Today is Thursday, May 4th. May the 4th be with you. If you don't know that, this is uh, like Star Wars Day to a lot of people. <laughs> May the 4th be with you. If this is the first time you've heard that. Well, you're welcome. <laughs> so, But today, talking about passion equals discipline. Now, we all have heard of discipline and willpower. What's the difference between willpower and discipline? Willpower is something that like you're trying to do something or accomplish something or trying not to do something like uh, eat that uh, second piece of chocolate cake after, <laughs> after Thanksgiving or pie or whatever. I mean, it's just an idea. Willpower. I don't know. That's what I, I, I always use when I talk about that word willpower or those words. I was like, okay, I'm not going to uh, overeat <laughs> and do something. But of course, it, it goes on to many different things. But what willpower is, is something that you can do on a short-term basis. Willpower doesn't last over time. You, you know, if you're just sheer willpower of plowing through 100 phone calls a day or prospecting or door knocking and your, your short-term, like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to prospect. I'm going to network. I'm going to get this done for all day long. I'm going to work on income generating activities uh for real estate prospect but if you're sure doing it by willpower it's just not going to last discipline is something that's long term things that you do now discipline the uh, the word uh discipline is similar to the word diet like we use that diet i know i'm sorry i always connect this stuff with health and eating and <laughs> things but but it it it, it can it uh, it's clear to me the word diet, when you say I'm on a diet, diet means what you eat. It doesn't mean less calories, healthier. Your diet, the word diet is what you eat. Discipline is what you do consistently. So sometimes people think, ah, example, you get up every morning at the exact same time. That's discipline. You're good doing it every single morning, exact same time, but you don't think of it as discipline. Wow, I'm being disciplined because you do it consistently. Is there something that you do? Like you go, example, you uh, volunteer at your church every, every week, or uh, you go to the gym every day, or you go to different events consistently, uh, anything that you could think of that you do that other people don't do. Example, I really wish I had more time to go down to uh, my local uh, you know, store or place or and donate my time, not really store, but a charity. That's what I meant. Go to my local, a local charity near my house, you know, uh, blood drives, stuff in my community to help more people. I wish I had the discipline to do it, but a lot of agents and people do, but sometimes they don't think of it as discipline. They just think it's something I am, here's the word, passionate about. You know, if you're passionate about something, the discipline doesn't seem like that hard if it's discipline. So the point I want to make at today for successful agents, you have to be passionate about something in this business so you can keep on doing it. You've got to be passionate about wanting to connect with people and help people buy or sell houses. You've got to want to be passionate about helping people with the biggest purchase or sale, it, the most expensive purchase or sale in their lives and things that really affect themselves, their families, their children, their, their enjoyment in life of where they're living, where they're going to spend a majority of their time, their whole lives is in and around your home. So especially today with people working from home, they're working at home now and living at home now, and they're spending a lot of their living time in their home. So you got to be passionate about it so you don't feel like it's willpower and it's disciplined. You got to be disciplined about things, but you get to the point where it's not, you're not thinking of it as discipline, just something you do. It's like muscle memory, just getting up at the same time. You eat at the same time. You go to bed about the same time. You brush your teeth every morning. Are you disciplined about brushing your teeth? 
Hope so. Hopefully every day you brush your teeth, but, <laughs> but we don't see, well, I'm really disciplined about it, uh, you know, because you just do it. So you got to get to that point. What are the things I can do that are, are, I could be disciplined and consistently do over a long period of time? Because if you don't have passion about it, it won't be get to that discipline part. It's hard to be disciplined without being passionate about it. Hopefully that made some sense there. But remember, reach out to me, call, text, email me anytime. Happy to put you on my schedule and, and brainstorm on things that you can do, which I love about my coaching, things that you can do that you're passionate about to bring real estate into the mix and be and grow your real estate business while you're doing things that you're passionate about. That's my goal in all my coaching calls every day. So that's it for today on Thursday. We will see you tomorrow on Friday. Have a great day. Bye-bye.